Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the sign law in a different way. We knew from before that the sine A is A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Today we will know about a new value of the sine law which is 2R and R here stands for the radius of the circumcircle of the triangle so in the opposite figure we can see that this is a triangle ABC and the circle M is the circumcircle of the triangle so the BM and the CM are both radii of the circle we have a law in the circles that says that um, if there is a central angle and there is an angle with both vertices with the same central angle the measure of A equals half the measure of M so if this point is X the measure of angle A equals the measure of the angle BMX. This is our first point. Since those two sides are both radii, so the triangle BMC is an isosceles triangle. And thus, those two angles are equal in measure. And as this is a right angle, so also these two angles are equal in measure and accordingly those are equal in measure. So the triangle BMX and the triangle CXM are both congruent. So we deduce from this that BX equals CX. And as in our main triangle triangle ABC this side BC here equals A because it's opposite to the angle A we can get that BX equals A over 2 and also CX equals A over 2 So, simply, to get sine A, to get sine A, and as we have said that measure angle A equals measure angle BMX, instead of writing sine A, we will get the sine BMX. The sine of angle BMX equals the opposite of the hypotenuse, A over 2 divided R to get A over 2R so sine A equals A over 2R by multiplying the both sides by 2R we get 2R sine A equals A and by dividing the both sides by sine A, we finally get 2R equals A over sine A. And as A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C, so the wall sine law will equal 2R. What would we use this for? For some problems, we can get the uh, area of the circumcircle or the circumference of the circle circle by using the sine law. So now we know that the sine law equals 2R and this was its first proof. There's another proof that we'll know in the uh, next video. And until then I thank you for watching and see you next time.